Hello everyone, my name is Prodesilaos, also known as Prod. In this video, I want to show you how to make best use of Emacs's advanced window management capabilities. We want to control the placement of buffers in Windows. And to do that, we have to customize the user option display buffer A list. You see that I have it here, and I want to start by setting this to a nil value so that I can show you the default behavior of Emacs rather than my set of rules rules for the display of buffers in Windows. We will uh, use this to gradually build up uh, expertise on this matter. Let's start with a simple scenario. I am in a frame of Emacs, uh, and this frame is displaying one window, and so one buffer inside of that window. I will now call a command which produces an other window. It doesn't really matter which command, but I will use the occur command for this purpose. You can see in the lower part of the screen on my mode line, a, a differently colored indicator with a different background, which shows the key I am pressing and next to it, the corresponding uh, name of the command, the corresponding command's name. This is the key cast indicator. So I will now search for rules and occur does uh, what I asked it to do. It searches the current buffer and produces another buffer with all the matches of my search terms. What has happened here is that Emacs split the frame in half and put the new buffer below the current buffer in a new window. The window that is selected is the current window where I was before. So it is not the occur window. It is the one I was originally. Let's now see what happens in this scenario. If I am in a, in a side by side uh, buffer uh, like uh, this, let's see. We have this over here. So I have two buffers side by side. And now I want to use occur here. And let's see what happens, the same occur. Now, instead of Emacs splitting the frame and putting the new buffer below the current buffer in a new window, it has instead taken over the other window. The buffer that was displayed in the other, uh, in the other window is no longer there. And what we see instead is the new buffer. In this case, the occur buffer. Depending on what you are doing, this is fine. But there are cases where you don't want that. And I think occur is one of those cases because of the functionality inherent to it. This is functionality that is ancillary to what you are doing in the current buffer. And this means that you don't want it to take over other uh, buffers, other windows, because you are probably uh, making use of those side-by-side -side windows, meaning that you would want to have occur be displayed somewhere else that respects your window configuration. Let us then kill that buffer, the occur buffer, and come back here and define our first entry in the display buffer uh, A list right here. Uh, as the name of this uh, user option suggests, this is an A list, and I will add some didactic space. An A list, generally speaking, is a list of lists. Uh, let's see then the anatomy, anatomy of an entry in the display buffer A list. And what we have here is a list of, we have a buffer matcher, let's have it like this, a buffer matcher, and we will see what that is. It is a way to match the buffer to be displayed. Then we have a list um, uh, of uh, display display functions. And then we have the parameters, the additional parameters. And the parameters are optional, optional. So let's uh, have it uh, like uh, this. And maybe uh, we can also have it like this. This is the idea, this is the anatomy. And I will just comment that out. And let's see this now in practice. I will prepare my first entry. And in this case, the matcher will be a regular expression. A regular expression is a string of characters with some characters having special meaning. I won't go into how to write regular expressions in Emacs. This is beside the point. But what I have over here means I want you to match 
buffers whose name is occur with two asterisks uh, at the beginning at the and the end so it's asterisk occur asterisk this is the idea and the backslashes there mean to treat the asterisk literally and not as a special character for the purposes of regular expression matching so we have our buffer matcher over there and then we want to have a list of functions that display the buffer and there are lots of functions uh, to add here you could add here uh, and uh, in this case i will just use display buffer reuse uh, reuse mode uh, i think reuse mode window yeah this is the idea so i have that and then i will also say display buffer uh, below selected uh, so display buffer below the selected buffer. This list of functions is executed in order from the first and then all the way to the last. The one that matches will uh, terminate the sequence. It will be the one that is used and then you are good to go. Uh, so be careful with the sequence, with how you order these. The way I have written it here is I think the way you should normally use this, meaning uh, the first entry should be to reuse the mode window. Uh, there are exceptions, but generally, if the buffer that you are matching already exists somewhere, probably you want to reuse that window. But of course, there are cases you may not want that, so be mindful of this. And then what I say is, if there is no mode window, so if a care is not displayed anywhere, then just display it below the currently selected window. This is the idea. And we can close our entry there. We don't need to add any parameters. Now, let's just have it like that. And I will evaluate this. And thus, I have successfully created my first set of rules for the display buffer A list. Let's then see what happens if I now do occur. So I am calling it from the scratch buffer. You may remember earlier that it took over the other buffer, the buffer uh, to my right hand side. But let's see what happens now. I am executing the occur command and we now see that instead of taking over the other window, what Emacs has done is it has taken the current window, split it in half and in a new window below it, it has displayed the occur buffer. For me, this is an improvement over the default behavior. Behavior. I don't want occur to take over my other buffer. I don't want it to mess around too much with my window configuration. I want it to be there below the current window and thus to be uh, performing the ancillary function it is meant to perform for that window. Let us then dismiss this and let's continue with the example over here. We have defined a list of functions, but we have not defined any parameters. There are lots of parameters, and I will provide a link uh, to the manual. I will add it in uh, the description. There will be a link to my website where I will embed this video, and I will provide uh, links to the documentation as well as sample code uh, that I am writing over here. So there will be a link to the manual over here. Actually, let's remove it. Uh, so for now, let me show you some parameters. There is a parameter called, oh, sorry, there is a parameter, let's come here, and let's have some didactic space again, oh, sorry. Uh, so this will close the entry. And here we want to have the window height. Uh, and the way you will s normally set parameters is like this. You have, um, and let me show you the value here. So this is the way you will set uh, parameters. You have a, a cons cell, as it is known, meaning a list with one element, a dot, and then another element. We don't need to go into the technicalities of Emacs list. It doesn't really matter. Just know that these are the parameters, like this. So for the window height parameter, we can set an absolute number, which is the number of lines where, that the window should occupy, or we can tell it something like this this uh, fit uh, I think it's a fit window to buffer I think it's called like this yes fit window to buffer this is exactly the aim of it and uh, so let's evaluate this actually let me clarify that these are the parameters these are the parameters 
and these are the um, uh, list of functions, list of uh, display functions like this and then of course we have the matcher over there uh, so let's evaluate this and now let's see what happens i have told Emacs that i want you for the occur buffers to display them below the current window and also to make sure that the height of the window is fitting uh, to the contents of the buffer i don't want it to be higher if the buffer doesn't have too many lines in it uh, let's see this then again and we now see this effect which i think is cleaner overall in the code that i will provide as an example i will show you something more advanced because the fit window to buffer is not very good when it comes to a large buffer with lots of contents because let me show you what happens here uh oh sorry it uh, actually did the right thing ah, because i search for rules but let me search for something that has lots of matches for example i will search for the and we see now this it didn't do what i wanted it to do because now the occur buffer occupies almost the entire height of the frame and this for me is not helpful because uh the occur buffer is meant to complement what i am doing there and not take over it so i will show you what i have in my configuration to do this sort of thing the fit window to buffer but also to do it up to a certain maximum so not to overdo it this is the idea but that is more advanced and i will only include it as an example uh, with a link to my website so let's assume that we have this over here uh, let's now use another uh, parameter which is the dedicated dedicated uh, like this and here we just want to say that yes please dedicate the buffer to its window and before i evaluate this let's have the occur buffer here uh, so let's use uh, rules here and we have that and if i am here now focused in this buffer and i do the regular control xb the switch to buffer command i will now switch to uh, let's say uh, prot emacs, uh, .org, okay uh, emacs will happily switch uh, to uh, the prot emacs .org in that window and for me again this is not desired behavior because buffers which are meant to be complementary to what i am doing should generally try to stay where they are and emacs should prevent me from getting in a situation like this uh, so let's kill this up oh, i also killed of course my uh, dot emacs so i didn't want to actually do that i wanted to kill the occur buffer but anyway so what i will do now is say let's make the occur buffer the buffer that we are matching let's make it dedicated to its current window uh, so i will do that over here one second my phone is ringing i cannot answer it right now uh, so let's uh, do this and see what happens i have added the uh, dedicated parameter so now i will do occur again and we will see that the occur window is displayed over there and i have some configurations for my mode line to tell me that this window is dedicated i can see this indicate over here uh, that it is telling me exactly that but it doesn't really matter what i am doing with my mode line let's try the same thing to switch to a buffer and i will switch to my prot emacs uh, dot org over here and you will notice that instead of emacs trying to display the window there it just reused the window that exists on the side let's now remove that and try this again Control x b and i will use the same as before and now you will notice that emacs has produced a new window maybe we cannot see it due to how small the occur buffer is but we see that we have three windows over here okay so basically dedicated means don't remove this find another window to get things done but this keep it where it is this buffer is dedicated to its window uh, so yes we can uh, remove these and basically this is how you define uh, parameters let me now show you another parameter which is more general and which is quite helpful it's called the body function body 
function. And as with all parameters, you have the first element, a dot, and then the second element. And I will say my test body function. And this is now a function that I will define. Let's evaluate this. And then let's go here above. And I will define a function, my test body function. And these functions, as the documentation is telling us, expect a single argument, which is the window. They accept, rather, a window argument. So we have to do that. And what I will do in this case is very simply select window, the window. OK, here is the example. So I want Emacs, when it produces the occur buffer, to also have it as the focused buffer, the currently selected window. Let's see it in action. And you see right away, I am in the occur buffer. This is wonderful because now I can work here directly or I can dismiss it in one go. Because let's say I got what I wanted and I'm like now, OK, thank you very much. Uh, nice to see you. Goodbye. This is the idea. Nice and clean. Uh, let's use another example uh, with this uh, just for the sake of the demo. Uh, I will leave that over there and I will use another one here. Uh, let's uh, have this or actually let's the, let's uh, rename this. Uh, let's um, let me come here and rename uh, this uh, to um, my test uh, select window. Let's call it like this. And uh, here we will call this my test uh, um, delete other windows, delete other windows. And here is the idea. Actually, let's put this below. And here I will do the delete other windows. Let's see this. Delete other windows. For whatever reason, I want to have this as my um, body function over here. But I won't use it for uh, this. I will use it for another scenario over here. Let's say that I want, let's show it here. I want when I produce my um, email buffer over here, my not much hello buffer, I want it, I want Emacs to automatically do this, produce the buffer and then dismiss all the other windows, just like that. Uh, so let's see how, oops, sorry. Uh, let's see how we can uh, do it. And I am, where am I? Here. Here. OK, so let's do that uh, a slightly different way now. The matcher will not be this. The matcher will now be another uh, thing, which will be a little bit more involved. We will do derived mode. And this is now the name of the major mode. I will go get the name of the major mode. But here, let me go here. And in this buffer, where I am now, I want to do the eval expression. You can see the key that I am pressing, the default key bindings. You can, of course, do MX and then eval expression. And what I want to do simply is major mode like that. And this means to evaluate the value of the variable called major mode. And now it is telling me not much hello mode. OK, so what I want to do in this scenario is instead of using the name, I want to use the not much hello mode. So this is what I am telling Emacs. If a buffer has a major mode, which is the one that I am specifying here, I want you to do these sorts of things. So of course, we don't want, we don't care about these now. Let's now do here uh, what we had. My test delete other windows. This is the idea. And uh, for here, I will say, we don't even need uh, any of this. We need the display uh, display buffer. And then I believe there is use some window. Uh, use some window. So this is the idea. Just use some window. It doesn't really matter because in the body function, what we are going to do is delete all the other windows. Let's add some space here for didactic purposes. So now we have two entries and I am evaluating my display buffer A list. Let's now see what happens if I do the uh, what I did earlier to produce not much. But let's have uh, a few windows over here and I will have my dot Emacs. 
Uh, I did some change to my uh, mini buffer settings, and for some reason, it is not selecting the candidates uh, quickly. I am experimenting with some of the defaults. At any rate, so I have now uh, three windows like this, and in one of those windows, I will do the command to call not much. I will do it here so that you can see. Uh, I am now using the key binding for that, and you see what happens. So. Emacs has produced the not much buffer that I asked because that not much buffer is matching one of the rules that I had. It goes into my rules and, oh, sorry, it is going into my rules and it is now running the body function, which in this case is my test uh, delete other windows. And we can see the idea here. Of course, this body function can be used to do more things. And it is how I personally take care of the fit window to buffer when I want to have a maximum and a minimum and not to get in a situation where Emacs tries to do uh, the wrong thing with this. Uh, in this case, the matcher, let's have now something which is slightly different. It will be the same as this, but slightly different uh, so that you get the idea. We have an OR here, and the OR will accept a list of such variations as those specified here. And these can, of course, be other modes, or it can also be uh, something like uh, this. Uh, I won't actually run this, but just to show you uh, what the options are and what we can do here is say mode uh, one and then uh, mode uh, two. This is the sort of idea. So you can have something like this in your display buffer A list, and it is another way to match what you need to match and to produce the results that you want to produce. Uh, the list of display functions is, of course, a list of functions uh, that you have over there, but you can always have it uh, run a custom set of uh, functions that you specify yourself in your own uh, function and you put it here. I will now switch to my own Emacs uh, configuration and uh, show you a little bit of this display buffer A list. Uh, so let's see what we have here. I want to show you some of my own uh, functions uh, over here. Uh, you will see that in this case, we have a matcher. This is interesting. I haven't showed this. But we have a matcher for this specific uh, regular expression. And we say, don't produce a window in that scenario. Basically, when I am running a shell command asynchronously, I don't want to see the output. If I need it, I can go find the buffer. But please don't put the buffer anywhere. This is the idea. Uh, we see here another parameter, which is interesting allow no other window, though I think in this case it is entirely superfluous. One second, because my phone is ringing again. Uh, it never rings, but it so happens that now that I decided to do a video, it does ring. So uh, let's ignore it for, for now. So probably this is not needed because the allow no window uh, is when you do control X O for Emacs to not select that window. Uh, we have other rules here, which is to use a so-called side window, meaning to display the window in any of the side windows. Uh, and you can read more about these. And the interesting part here is the window parameters. And you can have a mode line format of none. Actually, let's copy this and let's see it in action a little bit since we are here. You will notice that my completions buffer over here is having a mode line of its own. So why not remove it? Why not hide it? So the major mode here is the completion list mode. So what I will do here, since I already know how to uh, define my uh, rules, is I will do the derived mode, completion list mode, and then I will say display buffer, uh, use some window. I don't really care now about this. Rather, I want to show you this, OK? So let's evaluate now this. And let's see what is in the completions. Uh, it didn't do the right thing. What did I miss? 
uh, what did I miss in this scenario? Uh, maybe because the major mode is not the correct. Uh, maybe because there is another one. Uh, yeah, probably it's another major mode. So let me just do it like uh, this now. And we will see completions. Because the completions buffer, I think, starts with another major mode and then switches to that. Uh, but let's not worry about that scenario. Of course, I did display buffer, use some window, so I need to do uh, reuse mode window, reuse, uh, reuse, come on, mode window, and then display, display buffer, oh, come on. Display buffer at bottom. This is the idea. Uh, let's evaluate. Escape and Control X. And now I get this, but I already messed up with my uh, Emacs. So let me see if I can restore it. OK, let's now go to the scratch. And let's see what we have here. You see now the completions doesn't have any kind of uh, um, mode line over there that is visible. The window parameters, you can add lots of things. You can add more padding. You can add different faces. You can do lots and lots of things. But I won't show you because that is another rabbit hole entirely. Uh, let me go back to my prot uh, Emacs over here. And let's see some others. Preserve size simply means when you are resizing the Emacs uh, frame uh, for the windows to try to retain their size. No other window means, again, um, Hmm, actually, I may be wrong here. Allow no window. Uh, yeah, I may be conflating things here. But no other window is what uh, inhibits Control XO from selecting that window. So I don't know what this is. Probably I shouldn't have it here. I will have to read the documentation. Simple as that. Uh, and let me show you now the one that is the more advanced. I just show you the entry here. Actually, let me evaluate now my display buffer A list at this point. Um, and we will see this in action. I am using it actually for a care mode as well. And you will notice that instead of running the built-in functions here, I am running my own function. And what this function will do fundamentally is go and run a list of functions until one matches. Uh, which functions those are, it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, you can have any function you want over there. And then you will see the body function, which does the following, it selects the occur buffer and then displays it uh, where it needs to be displayed uh, and fits it to uh, some sensible uh, size. So let's use the occur here now that I have enabled it and let's do the the search that I did earlier. Uh, we will notice here that occur doesn't occupy the full length of the frame. It is more uh, conservative in this regard. It occupies up to a certain number that I have specified. Uh, let me just make the font smaller so that you see how this behaves. Now, it doesn't really matter. This is my regular font size. Uh, let me now do the occur again. It's just the same thing. In this case, because I have custom rules in place, the custom functions that I run, if my frame can be split uh, to side by side, I want the occur buffer to be displayed on the side. But let me now have two buffer, two windows here. I will have the scratch buffer. It doesn't really matter. Two windows here. And I will do the occur again. Notice now that instead of taking over the other one, it is produced below. So this sort of behavior, let me make this, uh, the font large again. This sort of behavior, you can get it by running a custom set of functions and checking for different uh, parameters. This is, again, more advanced. But what I want to do in this video is empower you to understand how this works. And then you can check my code, my Emacs configuration for a more advanced workflows and get things done uh, that way. Uh, so that's all for now, folks. Uh, but before I close, be because I see this comma here, remember that the comma is a, a placeholder. It's rather an, an operator, which means that 
uh, I want you to evaluate this. I don't want you to take it literally. I want you to give me the value of that variable. And for that to work, instead of a single quote, we have to have a backtick uh, to have the list over there. I have talked about this in other videos as well. Uh, but uh, if you don't uh, know it, uh, just ask me and I will uh, tell you more about it. Uh, so this is the idea, folks. I will provide a link to my website where this video will be embedded. And under that uh, video, I will include uh, relevant links and sample code for you to use. That's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care and goodbye.